huge Tacoma mod fail. The video that didn't happen. everybody how are you today not too good here this is a huge Tacoma mod fail and it really is the video that that didn't happen what my plan was I ordered some no drill hood struts because I thought I could clear my cold air intake over there the S&B cold air intake that is why you don't see a hood strut over here right just a lonely empty socket or receiver and one lonely hood strut over there it's because when I put the S&B cold air intake in the hood strut would not go from here down to the bracket where it needed to go because the bracket was too tight in here I could not mount the cold air intake because it hit the bracket so I had to remove the bracket and thus the hood strut now what I got were these new Soki, I think it's called Soki or Soki Tech hood struts because from a couple of videos I saw, um, I thought that I could make it fit because they go on with a little bracket that just screws into your hood bracket there, no drilling, and then down here right behind the corner of this, it's actually right on the edge down there, is one of these little nubs that the other side of the hood strut or the dampener plugs into. And then over here, the same kind of hood bracket that goes just on the first bolt on the hood there, so you don't have to remove both and screw up your hood alignment. Uh, and then runs down to another one of those little nubbies or that goes right here where your ground is. So you replace this bolt with their little nubby thing and it connects up. It's, it's a great idea and no drilling. But for me, it did not work uh, because I still could not put their little nubby over here next to the front part of the cold air intake. It still protruded out too far and would not allow the cold air intake to sit in there. So this is a huge Tacoma mod fail for me. I think it's probably the first fail I've had uh, where I could not put something on the truck. It's very disappointing. However, I am happy with the cold air intake and I certainly wouldn't get rid of that for hood struts. I am still gonna use the one over there, uh, which works, you guys can see. I don't have the bar here, the hood is up. It's really no issue, uh, but I just wanted to have two for peace of mind. So, we're not going to let this video be a complete and total fail. And by the way, I am going to be giving those away. They're brand new. So stay tuned for that. There'll be a giveaway announcement coming up, how you can enter to win those if you want. It is an excellent looking product. No drill. Why wouldn't you want to do it? I don't know. Anyway, stay tuned for that. That'll be a separate video coming up with details on how you can win my failure. Now, like I said, we're not going to let this video be a complete and total failure. Um, while I was taking everything apart, and by the way, I did remove the cold air intake thinking I could squeeze it in there. So in doing that, I was looking at this plug here in the front. It has a plug that you can put on, take off, whatever. And then it comes with this uh, little extension that goes on. And I was thinking, you know, I never had this on, and I wonder if it'll make any difference whatsoever, with sound primarily. So the way it goes, in my case, the problem and why it's not on is because I have um, some fluid down here that you need to be able to access. And if you put this thing on, it's gonna go over the top of that. However, it just pulls right off. No tools, so it's easy to do. But what it, what it does, it kind of fits just like this. That's how it would go and then it would marry up to this opening here with these little grooves. The problem is, again, there's always trouble, right? If you notice, there's this white little thing here. I don't even know what this is, but it kind of blocks this from going in. So, I was thinking I'm gonna trim this down probably right here on this edge so that I can go ahead and put this in anyway. And I don't think that that makes any difference because if you look at how this thing sits right here, for example, um, it just would butt right up against this member or this front piece here. 
Maybe you can see it better there. It just magically appeared in blue right here, this piece. So I don't think trimming this down would really make any difference, and it would allow for more air, um, albeit maybe warm air from inside the engine bay. We are getting cold air for what it is over here. But I'm going to go ahead and trim this thing down a little bit, put it in, and then we're going to go for a little cruise and see if indeed it makes any difference for power, which I'd be shocked, uh, or sound, which I kind of expect. So let me go ahead, measure that off, I'll get it cut, and I'll plug it in and we'll go for a ride. We've made our cut, for better or for worse. Let's go ahead and pull this plug off. Should be pretty simple. Uh, that was pretty easy, and again, it's just that easy, so I can put it back on if I want. And now, hopefully this is just as easy to get in there. That's a whole other struggle, probably. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna do it, one way or another. <laughs> I think that's actually it, so oh, that was easy. Now, we're going to uh, go hop in the truck, go for a ride, and uh, see if it made any difference at all. Okay, here we go, we're inside. Let's see if we hear anything different at startup. Can't say that I really noticed anything whatsoever there. How about a couple revs? didn't notice anything there either so now it's time to get out on the road do a little couple uh, runs around and see if it makes any difference and I'm also looking to see just out of curiosity sake that I don't throw any check engine lights because I am putting more air into the system now uh, by opening up that little block there so let's take off okay, we're on a straightaway I'm going slow to leave some distance between me and I think the horse and buggy in front of me, I don't know. But anyway, there's enough now. I'm starting off in second gear, I'm going to run through the gears, accelerate a bit, see if we hear anything. Here we go. You know, you always wonder about the uh, the placebo effect. Uh, probably not the right term. But anyway, you know, where you do something and just because you did it, you think you noticed something different. Um, first of all, let me address power. No, I, I don't notice any difference in power. It would be fantastic if all I had to do was remove a, a cover plate and my truck was faster. But that's not the case. However, here we're gonna accelerate again. I think I hear a little bit more sound. Um, again, it could be all in my head, I don't know, but I think I hear just a slight, low-level, uh, throatier growl, if you will, than what I heard before. Uh, I hope it's not all in my head, uh, because obviously over time, if it is, I won't hear it anymore. But it does sound to me to be just slightly, and I'm not talking about anything crazy by any means. Uh, but just slightly throatier. Uh, it's certainly not loud, it's never been loud, but I do think I get just a little bit more noise out of it. You guys will have to let me know, leave a comment. Uh, did you hear anything in the video? I don't know how good the quality will be uh, in reproducing the sound, but generally it's pretty good. So I would suspect that if there's anything that could be heard you guys would be able to hear it too so again it's just a plug in the side of the cold air intake you can leave it in take it out whatever uh if i notice any issues and i don't know what that would be the only issue for me would be if i got a check engine light for some reason uh, then i would put it back in because i didn't do anything else when i was moving around uh the cold air intake to try to put my hood dampeners on or hood struts I did not disconnect the uh, MAP sensor 
uh, only a vacuum hose, which I did put back on. Uh, so there was nothing else uh, involved in doing that. So I, I don't suspect uh, any problems with the check engine light unless it was solely due to uh, taking that little cover off. So leave a comment, let me know uh, what you think, if you heard anything uh, different in, uh, in my little drive there. And then also I'd be curious uh, if anybody's interested in those hood dampeners uh, or hood struts, uh, as far as a giveaway goes, I mean, if there's no interest, I won't do it. So leave a comment. Let me know if you're interested in, in that uh, in a giveaway for those. Again, it's not this video. There'll be a separate video for that. But I'd be curious to know if anybody's interested in it. Also, real quick, check out. I have two other channels. The first is Rob Motive JT, all about my 2020 Jeep Gladiator. And the second is Rob Motive Civic, all about my adventures with the Honda Civic Sport and the Honda Civic Type R. Check those out. If you're interested, please consider subscribing. Also, don't forget to click that notification bell so that you don't miss out on any upcoming videos like that giveaway that'll be coming. And do me a favor, smash that subscribe button on the way out. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there.